Oh, we've got excitement here today. We have another Cobra Roadster. This one here is an Everett Morrison, and it is a bigger, longer, wider, which makes it a lot easier to get in and out and use the pedals. So anyway, this is a stunning car. You know what else is really awesome about it? There's a genuine big block 427 under the hood. No Coyote motor or 302, good old 427, just like the real Cobra has had. You can go to volocars.com and you'll find a price tag on 200 col collector cars for sale. And each one has a monthly finance option with it as well, so you can afford it. But for right now, join me, buckle up, let's go for a spin. Yeah, this has a really nice body on it. It's a... Uh, uh, you can go on Everett Morrison's website. Uh, they're a uh, highly recognized brand of Cobra kit cars, but it's hand-laid fiberglass. They do it in a certain way, so you don't see the fiberglass mesh coming through. All this is fantastic. I don't see any cracking, waves, issues. All this is in excellent shape. The hood fits beautifully. All the body, I'm looking at the body now, is all excellent. The three inch stretch is all right in here, so it doesn't mess up the look of the car. You don't even notice it really, but it makes a difference. All this is real nice. Gas cap is countersunk into the body. All this is looking real good. I don't see any issue with the body itself at all. Nice little flared uh, wheel wells in back. This is all looking really good. The 427 Cobra, I'm just wiping off a few fingerprints. The 427 has the fat uh, wheel wells. The original 289 Cobras were more straight. Uh, but the body's looking to be in excellent shape. It's really straight, lines up nice. I didn't see a crack anywhere. Uh, it was painted in 2016 professionally. Now the paint is also gorgeous. Uh, if I walk around it, I, I've seen a couple little minor imperfections here and there that literally we have to look for. Here's a stone chip right here. But I mean, this is really sharp. The stripes are painted on. It's a deep blue metal flake. You know, originally they called it Daytona blue, but I think this is a modern version of it because it, it is a beautiful, rich blue. I can see my reflection. It's like a mirror. Look at that. It's like a mirror. A few little chips right here. You're going to get that. So excellent paint job. A couple minor flaws if you look for them. Uh, so we talked about the gas cap. It's all polished aluminum. Pop up. Yeah, there you go. Pop up for sure. Racing gas cap. Original style tail lights. Bumpers look real sharp. All the chrome is sparkling as the Cobra emblem looks like new. This one does have the uh, chrome roll bar. Looking nice, optional uh, wing windows. The glass is crystal clear. The chrome frame is sparkling. It's sitting on a set of Foose wheels with Nitto Performance tires, and they are 17 inch. They're looking real sharp. The side exhaust, you'll hear that in a little bit, does have a heat shield, which will help you from burning your leg when you get out. You just have to be careful is the 427 Cobra emblems. Up front it has KC halogen headlights, real nice, nice looking headlights, and they're real bright. Uh, bumpers, all that's looking sharp. Let's check out the interior, which won't take long, and then we're gonna get to that 427. We've got amazing cars lined up. You're gonna wanna subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon so you're notified as the new cars are posted. Uh, this one has a nice trunk compartment. It's all uh, boxed and carpeted really well. Got a latch there to hold the trunk lid open. So yeah, look at that. That's nice. Most of them are not finished off like that. Or if you want us to text you the new arrivals, text the word NEW, N-E-W, to 844-592. 2431. Now that is a three inch longer door. It's been reupholstered just like a year or two ago. Is the mat pocket. There's a cable in there that you pull to open the door, door release. 
So the dash uh, is upholstered nicely. You got headlights. I'm not sure what that is. VDO gauges, a full match set. It is just over 6,000 miles since it was built. Uh, even has a working clock, 12 volt receptacle, USB ports, plug in your phone. Yeah, heated seats. You don't have a heater, you can keep your buns warm. Locking uh, glove box door, and it's just that. You probably fit a set of gloves in there, that's about it. Uh, this is all upholstered real nicely. But yeah, this is really nice, and the footwell's wider, which means they can space out the pedals. Some of these, you literally have to pick what shoes you wear when you drive a Cobra because you're, you're hitting the other pedals. Uh, center console is nice and wide, has cup holders, has a four-speed shifter in here. The seats were just re redone as well. It's got really nice Naga hide, uh, Carroll Shelby embroidery, set of Simpson uh, racing belts, uh, 2022, that's probably when the upholstery was done. Uh, carpeted behind me. Oh, it also has the over-the-shoulder belts, too. Uh, yeah, both both of us have the complete harness. And then the steering wheel, real nice Shelby-style steering wheel with the aluminum spokes, wood rim. Maybe catch the pedals while you're under there. There's space between them. Some of the other Cobras, the pedals almost are touching each other. And the engine. Yeah, you'll find, just go online right now, look at Cobra, see how many have a 302 or 351. This one's rocking and rolling with an actual FE block 427. It uh, has an aluminum intake, giant dual-feed Holley carburetor. Look how big that thing is, and we just rebuilt that. It's dressed up with the finned Cobra valve covers and air cleaner. It's got a set of headers, an electric fan on the radiator. And there are tags on this car, the Everett Morrison tags and numbers. It was uh, you know, one of their cars. <clears throat> You can Google their website, look at the Gen 4, that's what this one would be. Uh, we've got alternators, here's the overflow bottle for the radiator. Pretty straightforward. So yeah, after looking at it, this is a really nice Cobra, isn't it? Uh, underneath has independent suspension in front with rack and pinion steering. Has the four inch tube frame, just like all the other kits and all the, uh, the original Cobras. Uh, so it has a really good sturdy structure. Uh, in back, it has fat tubular control arms, uh, sideways bar, I think it's a pan hard bar. Has coil over adjustable shocks in the back. There are disc brakes at all four wheels. Yeah, they are drilled. Nope, front ones are drilled. The back ones are not. There are wheel woods in the front, but it is disc brakes at all four wheels. Uh, obviously, the exhaust comes right out the side. Um, looking up at the motor, it has a finned aluminum extra capacity oil pan. Has the four-speed Ford transmission in there. It's probably a top loader. Custom-built drive shaft goes through two safety loops. Uh, and has a Ford nine-inch rear end. That's the heavy-duty rear end. Uh, it looks like a GM gas tank underneath the back of the car. Uh, and it's very clean, very nice overall underneath this car. So yeah, this is a this is a great Cobra. Go to volocars.com. The salesman can help answer your questions, including how to get this delivered to your door, how to get it financed. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.